All right, so now that you've finished the Learn to Code module, uh, hopefully you've leveled up and you're getting comfortable using these core building blocks. What's the next step? Well, the next step that you should do is the basic algorithm. Now, this gets pretty hard. It you know, builds upon what you learn at the algorithm map and the Learn to Code. But the basic algorithm, algorithm, it does get hard. You can do it in JavaScript. You can do it in some other languages. But there are 29 challenges. It starts out kind of easy. And then it becomes pretty hard. I wouldn't expect uh, someone who just started coding um, now to be able to finish all of this. But if you want to take the challenge, go in and uh, solve as many as you can. But in this class, um, as you, this is a good way to level up an algorithm. But um, in this class, I'm going to show you uh, another module that I'm creating right now, Gabe's in JavaScript. Uh, which will be available for you guys to play with where you can actually see how I would create a game from scratch all from nothing and just using plain HTML, CSS and JavaScript that you learn to create some of the games. So uh, I'll create a few games uh, in the beginning to kind of get you some ideas and I'll give you assignments after each of the game too. Okay, But I'll explain some of those more details after as you're uh, after you're done with the uh, learn to code and uh, as you are um, completing some of the basic algorithm now again basic algorithm this is going to be even hard especially the latter ones for current developers so don't feel bad if you're struggling through the basic algorithm just do it uh, as much as you can to get your brain rewired to think in uh, if and else statements loops functions and variables including arrays okay all right happy coding